The BBC made an extremely sensational report on Wednesday claiming that a large number of Uyghur women in vocational education and training centers in northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region had been systematically raped, sexually assaulted, and tortured, with one interviewee saying rape has become a culture in those places. The report caught it in video Uyghur women who are currently in the West without any supporting evidence other than their claims. All Chinese scholars familiar with Xinjiang affairs, including those in Xinjiang, felt the accusations were preposterous. There is absolutely no room for such widespread gun rape and sexual assault in China today. Such collective boldness is completely incredible. There is absolutely zero chance that this sort of crime could be concealed for a long period. Those who commit such evil would face the unbearable risk of severe punishment or even the death penalty. Many people have gone to foreign countries from Xinjiang. Extremist organizations such as World Weaker Congress and Western media organizations hope to use them to fabricate sensational stories of governance in Xinjiang. With this seemingly endless string of very bizarre stories, we have reason to suspect that foreign anti-China forces have put those people up to cooperating and concocting those stories.